All right, guys, it's just Ashley Keaton. We're back at it again. Uh, as you see in the title, David Lynn, I Show Speed. I know it's old, but um, we're going to get a uh, view on it. My friend hasn't seen it, so let's get into it. And guys, if you're finding value in these videos, Hit the like button for us if you don't mind. It helps us with the algorithm. And also consider subscribing and hit the bell notification to know every time we go live. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Like I'm about to go see my idol, bro. Like I'm about to see the like I'm about to go see the person that I love the most, bro. Like I'm about to go see the person that I look up to every day. I'm about to go see the person that I watch his highlights every day, bro. Kristen freaking Ronaldo, bro. No evolutionists can tell us why there are still monkeys today if we evolved from monkeys. Why are there still monkeys today? No, no you don't. You just called me a monkey. Charles Darwin says you're a monkey. What? Charles, I'm a monkey? Charles Darwin calls you a monkey. Charles Darwin says that. Are you please. serious right now? Are you serious? Are you serious? I want to ask you. I want to ask you something, man. Yeah, ask me something. Because I watch your videos, man. I actually made a. I made a review of one of your videos. All right, what is it? So um, I forgot what it's called, but you made a video. I want. I want to know, man. Are you gay? <laughs> Only for Ronaldo. Yeah! All right, all right. Come, come, come. Listen, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that for a second. Hold, hold. I want to ask you something, man. Listen, man. I know your father is a Christian. Okay. Are you a Christian? Am I a Christian? Okay. <laughs> see, that's a you see very, joke. you know, great question. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this. Okay? No, 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 no. Answer the question first. It's okay. a great I'm question a because a Christian you know, is someone that's close. repented of their sins. Well, why are you always that doesn't support <laughs> sexual immorality. That's not walking for fame, but living for Jesus. Someone who's denied themselves, pick up their cross daily and follow me. I'm not against you trying to make money okay, or right, making right, good right, music, okay. but if you're a Christian, you need to repent of your sins. Otherwise, just like any person here, not just you, you hey, need, okay, you'll find right, yourself in hell. All right, okay, other way. So are you a hey, Christian? Hey, let me talk. All right. Are you a Christian? Okay, first of all, I came here to see Ronaldo. I'm in Manchester right now. You're asking me questions about God, okay? All I'm going to say is it's funny that he's preaching, but he got long. Both of them got here. You know, nobody, I'll be looking to see if anybody's going to call him out like Christians. I haven't seen it. Not saying they haven't, but there was one person. There was one person that um, there was one person that called him out about his shirt being. They said his shirt was too tight, and then he said, "You might be right." So I, I, it's, it's weird because I don't think he's a person to deny. I, I've never heard. Yeah, I've never seen uh, that conversation take place. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, Maybe people just don't think about that. That's just one of my, well, you know, uh, us preaching like he do the same thing he do. Maybe not. We don't do it. Use cameras, but I was here preaching the gospel on a job in the city. You know, I just felt like you know, much stuff people say, question what we preaching, even though it's in the word. In my head, it's just you know, looking at that, it's like, I get it. I'm not saying he preaching, he's not preaching the truth, but at the same time. It's like, bro, you and him look no different. You, can, I mean, you got here, and you, you know how I feel about people with a platform. You got a platform. If God appointed you to preach the gospel, appointed you in that position, you should conduct yourself according to the word of God, being being blameless. We ain't perfect, but being blameless. But that's one of the things I just wanted to point out, though. Just, I feel like a lot of people miss that, and I'm I'm trying to figure out why. Because in uh, I think it's in, in First Corinthians I forget where it is, but it says that a man's a man should have his hair shaved, yeah. but it's I don't know I feel like maybe they're taking that in a different way. Who they're t they're I don't know what they're doing with that because I, I've I've seen. A lot. I've seen people kind of like I don't know. I see a lot of preachers with long hair, so I don't know. None of y'all have God. I don't care. I'm, I know it's this his ordeal pertaining to the domain of his platform, but I call any and challenge anybody. You know what I mean? I don't care. We don't chase signs and wonders. You know. 
So all of that because somebody come off like they heal or the it looked like a move of God. God don't contradict, go against his word. And he says it's a shame for men to have long long hair. Or pray, prophesied though. Would you say because he has long hair that he is the same? Or are you just bringing it out that like, yo, you should hold yourself accountable if you're out here preaching? Is it just that simple? That's what you're saying? I would say both. Hold yourself accountable if you're preaching. You know how we we don't get on a platform with chains. And we don't wear that stuff because it's against scripture. But we don't get up there wearing hoodies and all of this stuff when we pre bring forth the word to the congregation. Now, it's different in the streets. But even with that, if he's, he know the word like he proclaimed he do, and he supposed to be edifying people, what's up with the long hair? I would say it's something that can be brought up. Bring it up to be him. talked about, but I feel like it is separate from the event that's taking place. Now, maybe you could say that there are some similarities. Now, it, it would be different. Like if, you know, if if I say that there's a problem with something that, that somebody's doing and I'm doing the same thing, then, you know, I'm a hypocrite, right? But... I ain't calling him a crypt. Go ahead. But to say that he's doing, he, um, well, I show speed. He does effeminate activity, right? Mm -hmm. um, or he just comes off that way and that's his satire, that's his character online, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, he definitely does some stuff on his music videos and all that. And we've seen yeah. those. He's, he's seen those music videos and he's speaking heavily on that. So there are things that we misunderstand in the Bible, yeah. and even me, like I'm learning. There could be things that I misunderstand, but I don't think that keeps him from being able to speak against like homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what he's calling out. And it's like, I mean, you could say, okay, there needs to be a separation between men and women, and his long hair is of a woman, um, which could be effeminate. But I don't know. It's like, I would say we still need to draw some type of line and say that it's a big difference in getting confused by culture to have long hair and actually admitting to intentionally doing effeminate things. Yeah, it's I, a big I, difference. I agree. I'm just saying, look, all my whole point is this. You got a platform, not saying you're going to be perfect, but at the same time, you study the way you study and I know you study, certain things is not going to be accepted on here. You ain't promoting, you ain't promoting, my bad, you ain't promoting sexual content, you ain't promoting alcohol, drinking, smoking, you ain't promoting homosexuality, you ain't promoting, uh, for the most part, anything that's against scripture. I'm not saying he won't change it or correct it, but the, how long? He been out there for a minute preaching. I stopped watching him because, you know what I mean, I noticed these things, and it's like, I get it. Preach the word, but at the same time, it's like if you, I think he have a he got a church, right? Um, yeah, I think he does have a church. Yeah, so uh, I ain't, I ain't trying to fade him, and I'm just saying, man, if you gonna come at my mans, that's the truth of the matter is, because I'm beyond it, we out there, I ain't holding back. I know you won't. He po he pre he preaching what we preaching, but one thing he's I wouldn't say he's coming at him anyways. He's asking him questions. He's he's trying to see does his does his values. Are they consistent? But I, I'll show you, like, when you see the rest of the video, then we'll talk about, like, what he's actually doing. Because he just asked him a few questions so far. Talk, are, are you a Christian? <laughs> okay, first of all, I came here to see Ronaldo. I'm in Manchester right now. You're asking me questions about God, okay? You know, I love God, you know, but... Just, just a few. I, but, hey, no, a few hey, hey, hey. I want to know. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let me tell you this. Stop talking to me, sir. Have a nice day. Oh. I thought I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, no, so I thought so. No, so. <laughs> the man is gay for Ronaldo. His father's a Christian, and he's afraid to acknowledge the question because he knows what I'm saying is right. He's going against his conscience. He loves his fame and he loves the world more than he loves God. This man is scared to face accountability now the hair issue is a separate thing i think 
Um, some is related somewhat, but the big picture, the big point that I would like to get out is when you have a platform and like you're you're doing big things and you're known. That kind of has you. That makes you feel like a, a certain sense of uh, authority, superiority over people to mm-hmm. where you can say what you want. You don't have to challenge. You don't have to be challenged. And he has a way to chump off. He has a way to answer every single person. But when he comes to the one man that's challenging him on his faith, now he has nothing to say. So that just goes to show you. You can be all big and bad. You can do what you want on any other platform because you have money. But then when I ask you direct questions, and people always like to throw that up like, yo, I'm doing better than you. I don't have to talk to you. I'm, you know, I'm at another place, so I don't have to deal with this, Um, which is not what I'm saying I I show speed is doing. But you can tell that there's a sense of uh, pride to where he can't take accountability and he asks you a direct question and there's something inside of you that you will not face. There's something inside of your heart that you know if you address it that there are going to be issues. And he plays with this, you know, I'm gay for Ronaldo, whatever. He plays with this thing. Who Ronaldo? Ronaldo's like a soccer player. Um, oh. That's what he came to see, you know. He's and not. Yeah, and, and, you know, they got idols and stuff, and it's like, you can't say, like, oh, I love God. Like, no, 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 no. You're not, you don't really mean you love God, not by your actions, because your actions speak louder than words. What you mean to say is you respect other people's belief. You respect that your dad believes in God, but you don't actually love God yourself. Because if you love God yourself, then you will Seek. I mean, honestly, if you even love yourself, I'm gonna say he don't. You will seek out uh, correction. You'll seek out what the truth is. And some people get to this place where they just don't care. And now you come into contact with David Lynn, which, in my opinion, is the goat. I mean, other than the, you know, the whole hair thing, him having long hair. Um, it's just the way that he addresses things. I watch his videos. I'm like. Yes, exactly. But yeah, I show speed. It's like he, he doesn't want to face that. That's a tough thing to face when, like, you know, when we were at work and he was talking to the guy about God and he was listening to what you were saying. And then he didn't come back because he said he knows you're right. And he just is scared to face that. They know that this is true or they know that there's something there. Yeah. That is life changing and they're afraid to touch that because they know you probably have to risk your career for this. Like Kanye West, he risked everything. Where is Kanye? <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that I'm definitely not co signing Kanye West, but oh, no, we, no, we he not. um not. he risked everything for what he wanted to say, what he wanted to he wanted to seek that truth. Yeah. You know, but that's my take on that situation because that junk was crazy. I don't know, you know, typical young dude, you know. I don't personally pay him any attention. Matter of fact, who is he? I show he's just nobody. some YouTube uh, person. Oh. He's like us, man. Just like way more uh, on, a, on a whole nother level than us. Nah. He's better than us. No, no, you're not. We can't say anything to I show speed. Look at him. Look at his status, bro. We go, <laughs> who are we yeah, to I, say anything at all? We might not be. We're nobody. We nobody to the world, maybe. Yeah, man. But we somebody. I promise you, let them cross paths with us. Oh, wow. You know, the you competition. See, he, he just mm. he crossed paths with David Lynn. Nothing happened. I'm more, I'm going to love, I mean, not being cocky. He's going to be like, nah, get over here. Let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Ronaldo going to be there. Come in. Let me talk to you real quick. Nah, you know, I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more provokish. I'm going to try to touch them feelings, but, you know, each of them. Yeah. He said some stuff when he walked off, though. No, he did. He did. He's think. gay for Ronaldo, <laughs> and his dad is a Christian. I'm like, <laughs> this is like a touching some some heartstrings. Mm-hmm. He walking away probably thinking, like, trying to suppress certain things. That's what I want to know. Like, 
out of the things that happened, it's his mind like repressing that situation. And then there's something really there or is it like you want to know like is there pain there that people are repressing or have they found a way to like kind of make it non-existent in their life or does it traumatize them does it come up in the middle of the night like you, <laughs> you know, know the fear of death and things like that pain is there you, you know that's what i wonder about atheists like do they have like more of a fear of death than christians and then well you better not talk about them kid they're gonna come for you man it's just a question. I mean, I've I've heard some atheists say like they value life more than Christians, and I thought that that didn't make sense. But no, when you think about it, <laughs> if you're don't. on this earth and this is all you have and it's gonna end, then it does make sense that you would value this earth more than a Christian because Christians don't care as much about the earth as they do heaven. You're right. You're right. So you're I was right. like, that was the first time like it was an eye opener moment. I was like, that makes sense. A foolish eye opening moment. You trying to call me a fool? It's an eye opener for me. So you trying to say I'm foolish, bro? <laughs> I'm, I'm Some of this street peace should be weird. I don't know why we're acting like it's not weird. Because of the relationship that was established, they did not kill each other, fam. That's All I'm crazy. saying is, yes, you do have to bring truth to people. Street preachers proclaim what you believe on the street. What can be wrong with that? Uh, not do all, do all of them proclaim what I believe? You got an 18, 19 year old kid who is mega famous and trying to figure out life and. You pull up to him and ask him if he's gay? Bruce Lawn. By the way, and there's tons I disagree with Lecrae about. Go watch my interview with him. Go watch my interview with him. There's there's, there's a time and a place for healthy for healthy tension. But it, it shouldn't drive how you interact. You, you, you're done with him, huh? Already. <laughs> you already know where this going to go. What you guys say, bro? Speak, speak with your chest, dog. Just don't get us canceled. I know all I want to say to Ruslan right off the bat, man, speak to some people that know something. You know what I mean? We challenge you. I know we might not have your amount of views or popular, being popular, but we challenge you, man. Two Minute God, we challenge you in the sense of like, bring your truth and we bring the truth and let's weigh the options. Let's, you know what I mean? Because already off the bat, I don't care what you're talking about. What you mean is a time and place. The Bible tells us to be in season and out of season. That means there ain't no time and place. It's whenever it presents itself, go mode. But whatever. I haven't done you any wrong. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A good yeah, you know what? You want to know something? I'm not the biggest fan of those guys either. <laughs> Dustin was talking about the time Lecrae was seen at a Wu-Tang concert. And he that. saw a street preacher. And I guess Lecrae had a problem with the way the preacher was going about his preaching. Yeah. Did You're not you, acting like Jesus. Did you hear what he said to me? He did said you, he don't want to go to. He said he don't want to church. So look, I know his name. Yeah. I, I just met the dude. I know his name. I got context. I got. We can build a relationship and have a discussion about what he believes, what I believe, and that would probably be more effective than screaming at him and telling him he's going to hell. That's what I'm saying, man. You're taking one instance. Yo, man, what's your name? Lecrae. Yo, my name. You're taking one instance. You're taking one instance. Did he always nah. build relationships with people? Of, of did he rebuke he did. the Pharisees? Do you know that Peter and Matthew would have been diametrically opposed to each other? A tax collector and a zealot, they would have hated each other. Because of the relationship that was established, they did not kill each other, fam. All I'm saying is, yes, you do have to bring truth to people, but you bring truth to people who trust you and who, 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 who care about, who know you care. They'll listen if they believe you care. I'm inside, I'm inside talking to a young lady. Yo, Lecrae. I, somehow, Lord, let this get to these dummies. Hey, Lecrae, <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, the music, the fame be going to their head, bro. What are you talking about? They ain't going to trust you. Pulling a tick off a dog, it's still going to bite you, right? Why? And you're trying to help it. Why? The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, uh -huh. to not cast your pearls before swine. Don't give that which is holy unto the dogs. Yeah. So... I don't know exactly. I mean, we weren't there. I don't know exactly what he's saying. Maybe the phrase he used is like, it could sound crazy, but I feel like there's got to be. They usually taking an extreme position is usually wrong. To say like Lecrae is just completely tripping, is he right or wrong? And then just he's just absolutely right everything he says. Usually that type of position is problematic because you don't want bias. You don't want to. You want to take them for the good and the bad. So. I think what he's saying, mm -hmm. I could be wrong, is that you don't 
want to give things to people if they're not going to receive it anyways. But you don't know who going to receive it, who not. You don't. Um, so that is the problem because, you know, David Lynn is out here speaking to people, telling them the truth. Um, only thing I have a problem with is if I'm speaking the truth to somebody and they already know and they're rejecting this. Like, you already know this is a problem from a few minutes of conversation. But I don't see David Lynn really doing that. I see him speaking to people, things that they want to reject. And it's like, I don't I don't like the 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 idea of like, oh, we're not going to tell people the truth because it's going to hurt their feelings. Because like, I've had a lot of moments that hurt my feelings where somebody told me the truth and Very it made me better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people are afraid to do that. And I know there's a way to talk to people and we can talk about that. But what we cannot do is say that, I'm just not going to tell you the truth. I'm all for it. Like, if if there's somebody, a homosexual in our church, and we want to be careful how we say the message, If the goal has to be saving the soul, though. It can't be, oh, I'm going to be so real that I'm just going to say it. Because if, if they walk out, like... The goal isn't to say, oh, I'm just going to preach this message because I'm going to preach it. Like, if you're going to preach to the choir, that's one thing. But do you want them to accept this message? Do you want them to be saved? you want that solution? Or do you just want to prove your point, which most people already know that the Bible speaks against it? So I just don't like the wasting of time. That would be my problem. I'm not going to waste my time and say something. I know you're not going to listen. Or I know you already know it. It just depends. If I'm wasting my if I'm wasting my time at that moment, but it get to you later, and it become necessary, because that happened a lot of times too, then it's worth it. But it, I think yeah. those are usually eye-opening moments, though. Like not me saying something like, like you know you're smoking. And I'm like, yo, bro, anybody that's smoking cigarettes is going to hell. It's like... That's, that's not, not going to get to you. Yeah, that's not, because that's not even righteous judgment. You know they, what I'm saying? They didn't even righteously judge them. Because righteously judging them is letting them know they're doing wrong, but it come with love, too. So that's not righteously judging. So off the bat, I know that's going to be wrong. But I, I get what you're saying. But even with the homo thing, you know what I mean? Gay, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? We don't support it. But whatever you want to call it. uh, And I ain't, I don't hate nobody because of that. But despite any of that, I'm not sugarcoating my message. I expect I expect people to be more offended than to receive it first because throughout the scriptures that's how it was. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I go about when I preach. God, you gave it to me. I'm gonna deliver it with love, but I'm making it real clear. I care less about your feelings. Because the Bible don't Bible teaches us don't not to reason what our emotions, our feelings don't matter. Yes, I was just tired, but he just woke me up with that. <laughs> who's working for Live Nation. And we can have a whole dialogue and conversation and it turned into a conversation about her faith and lack thereof and it was beautiful. And it wasn't because I, I came to her and told her, you gonna burn. It was because- But does the Bible say, how can they hear without a preacher? Or does it say, go build relationship with the person? Now, like, Jesus man, has a preacher. It tells us to man. go into Yo, the highways and byways and he says, tell them he said, to come love in. Them, love your neighbor as yourself. But you're not like, really? I do. And the Bible tells Listen us to me. go into the world and, and I do that. That's the problem. Like, I get it. I get the intentions. You love your neighbor as yourself. But we don't know what love is. Like, love is cruel. if your kid is not working, you kick him out. You know, when he's at the age of, you know, accountability, he's a man. Yeah. It's like, nah, we got to kick you out. and Time to grow up. You know, it's the grace of God if you don't get kicked out. But the grace of God is scary, too, because... You can have the grace of God and not have to abide by the law and have yourself a happy trip to the wrong destination, (laughs) you know, because God gave you grace and he didn't put plagues on you and stuff like that. Like, but anyways, love, people throw that word love around and they don't understand that love is way deeper. And a lot of times love is painful I painfully had to tell you the truth, even though I knew it was going to hurt you. And it's going to hurt me so bad to tell you the truth. Like physically, that girl is cheating on you, bro. And you just know. And I had to tell you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. What do you want me to do? 
I want you to do something about it because you know who it is. Go check out uh, Never right, Call. Let's, let's look Never at, Call and tell you at, who Let's uh, look at the rest of this. Let's look at the rest of this. this guys, this, Let me stop being this is This is when you realize, guys, everyone at home, when you know that someone is delusional. My bad. This I, is the sign right here. We don't have to talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. I ain't it. cut my acting thing off. I'm sorry. And I just did that. Every creature. And I just well, did that. I'm glad you did that. And I just did but again, that. But, it, but, but you're condemning but the way that I'm doing it. No, I'm not condemning it. I'm saying you're pushing people away. You're condemning. You're Jesus condemning. Did Jesus, condemning. Push, did Jesus push people away? When no, he, he welcomed them. And you're so not acting like Jesus, well, bro. Did he right? condemn, push people away? That's what I'm saying. He... <sighs> It's like people have a heart to care for people, but then they don't have a heart to pull them through the fire. You know, it's like people are dying and people are... People are going through a lot because somebody didn't step up and tell them the truth. And they're going to go through a lot more in eternity if somebody doesn't step up and tell them, hey, you're headed down the wrong path. After that, you can do what you want, but I'm at least going to... I, I don't come to people in no harsh way. Yeah. I come to people with love. Like, look, let's just talk about it. Like, look, let let me ask you a question. What do you think God wants? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll start there. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to... You know, I, I respect the people that come with a, with a tough message and they say what they got to say. Um, I don't have a problem doing that. I just want the results. So maybe I have the wrong method, but I feel like... That's I just feel like my method works better because I come in in a certain way, um, but I mean who knows what the right way to come is like I, right somebody can is. be harsh somebody can come light I've come light to some people and got way better results than somebody coming harsh and sometimes people come harsh and they get way better results than me coming light it's just it's person to person sometimes and it's situation to situation but what I'm not gonna do is say that God didn't. Um, indirectly hurt people push them. people away yeah. when he came to divide and what does that say he came to divide and Go read your word put family against family I ain't come for peace i came for judgment mother against daughter daughter against mother all of that so you're right it's another thing too he said open rebuke better than secret love so explain to me when god ain't out here fading when he flipping over tables and don't swinging whips because what they doing like come on stop with this whole hollywood god <laughs> can, uh, can we get an amen choir? No, nah, we don't need them. Do what pastors do. Angel, sit down. All y'all sit down. Yeah, thank you. Sit down. Well, amen go. ourselves. All right, let's yeah. get to the rest of this, man. Cause Listen, did you see not acknowledging any other statements? Up, you know, but see his heart, though. I, I feel him, but it's just man, not cool. It's not, it's not, it's not what God wants. You know it's a music. great reason in with the world. See, Peasy, you know the music, man. I wonder how you know the music. Well, I know the music, too. I listen to your music, too. I'm just saying, family. Yeah, yeah, I think sometimes David Lynn be on some weird stuff. His confrontation with Speed was kind of weird. Your old kid who is mega famous and trying to figure out life, and you pull up to him and ask him if he's gay? Hold on, hold on, kid, real quick. Am I the only one? For one, this mega kid got a platform that's going to lead a bunch of other kids to hell if somebody don't check them and show them the right way. That's the problem with, yo, what's his name again? Uh, that's Ruslan. Ruslan, please. Please, man. Holla at us, bro. I, you have to come with understanding, right? Mm. Because when Ruslan speaks, if you don't come to it with understanding, then why would he listen to us anyways, right? But this is what I'm going to say. I don't think it's weird because, first of all, you deal with people from different generations. They speak boldly, especially uh, David Lynn. Is, is he, he's from like um, I forget from the islands of Jamaica or something so they don't hold their tongue over there yeah. they say it like it is so from his experience he's really probably sugarcoating it and watering down what he actually could be saying so with that under, when you understand more people mm -hmm. then you know how to speak to them but um, the thing is you you just don't you just don't understand how many moments that people have just said something straight up, hurt someone's feelings and got the result, you know, and and that's the part that we're missing. Like yeah, 
you could do this nice method, but in reality, there are a lot of times that that does not get the result of saving a soul. Look, man, don't forget to like this video, bro, if you found value in this video. And consider subscribing because it's free. It doesn't hurt you to hit the subscribe button. Hey, we're cool, guys. Me and you, right? We're cool. Yeah, we're not. He's not going to be here all the time because if you see the name, it's just Ashley Keaton. No, so he's not. he's not really here. It's Ashley Keaton and them. It's others. It's others that's going to appear on Those this are show. not my pronouns. <laughs> all right, guys. We're out of here. God bless you. Enjoy the process.